hopefully you've now got sound a click of a button a restart and away we go saturday 20th of november Compline. let's come before the lord The images you see before you are Priscilla Lydia Sellen, someone who restored the religious life in the Church of England in 1876. She died. Edmund, the first king of the Angles, a man whose faith was immense. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So, a moment of reflection as we come before the Lord, conscious of the things that we have failed to do this day. And we say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in christ amen O oh god make speed to save us O oh lord make haste to help us glory to the father and to the son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, My refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side and ten thousand at your right side, yet it shall not come near you. Your hands have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your stronghold. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent, you shall trample underfoot. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore will I deliver them. I will lift them up, because they know my name. They will call upon me, and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble. 
I will deliver them and bring them to honour. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Matthew chapter 24, verses 13 and 14a. The one who endures to the end will be saved. And this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to the nations. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. O King most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. O King, most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. So, Father, we reflect on the day coming to its close, with the blessings, the challenges, the joys, the opportunities, for all that has made this day special, and for the things that have made this day a challenge, bad, taken from us the opportunities, or opportunities were missed that took from us the blessings we could have given and received. But Lord, we are who we are. We come and in our busyness, in our distractions, we sometimes turn our gaze away from you, Father God. So we come before you now and we give you thanks for all that has blessed us, all that we have blessed others with. We thank you for the forgiveness that is ours. And as we are forgiven, we forgive those who have acted against us, perhaps. Those who have wounded us this day. Father God, looking at the images of two people in two different times. Edmund, 870 AD, attacked by the Danes. He refused to give over his kingdom or to renounce his faith in Christ. So they tied him to a tree, shot him with arrows, and then beheaded him. Hence the fact we have very St Edmunds. Father God, we thank you for those who, in the face of adversity, have been strong. And Priscilla Lydia Selen, born somewhere around 1821, poor health, and yet she had appeared on the horizons to do mission and ministry, to enter the religious life. 
even though her body was weak. She led the Holy Cross Sisters, established the Society of the Holy Trinity and led her community into starting schools and orphanages, nursing the sick in slums and soldiers on the Crimea. She became an invalid, died in her mid-fifties but gave all she had. Are the two examples of people who stood the test overcame the challenges father we thank you for women who went to the crimea to a place of awfulness and ministered your love father god as we come to the end of this day as tomorrow we will celebrate christ the king father help us in whatever opportunities come our way to be a witness to you. So Father God, we lift now to you those we know who are struggling, those who have difficulties, and we pray that we might be witnesses to them, that we might pray for them, that we might lead them into places of wholeness, of confidence, of health. So we pause for a moment and we lift to you those on our hearts and minds. In a week which has seen members of our church and civic communities leave this life. Father God, we pray for all who mourn. We pray for Betty Satterwaite's family, for Kane Gant's family, praying for those with whom he served and those with whom he served as mayor and within the council of Tamworth. We pray for Jane, a colleague, a friend and her family, for her health, for Margaret and for John, for Graham and for Gillian. For Maureen Williams, for Beryl Davis, for Enid, for the friends and family of Margaret, we thank you for Margaret, Margaret Fish and all she was to the church in Tamworth. We pray for our church, we pray for our parish, for our deanery, our diocese and for the Church of England and every church in our town and across this whole United Kingdom, may it be so. And the names that we know only ourselves, we pause and we lift them to the Lord wherever we are. Lord, stretch out your hand, bring your peace, your healing, your care, your presence. Be with those that we lift before you this evening. Be with us as we go to our beds, may we know sleep. And whether we wake tomorrow to a new day or find life ends and eternity is ours. May we never lose sight of the fact that we are yours and you are ours. And that we are one reconciled to the Godhead, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. By the will of the Father, the blood of the Lamb and by the indwelling 
of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you for Edmund, a man whose faith gave him the courage to stand as a king and as a Christian. Lord, we pray for all across the globe this night who, because of their faith, face oppression and the fear of death. Eternal Father, whose Son Jesus Christ ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King, keep the Church in the spirit of the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace, and bring the whole created all to the worship at his feet, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God, now and for ever. Amen. And with the words our Saviour gave us, we are bold, we are confident to say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day. And make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May the light of Christ, the King of all, shine ever brighter in our hearts that with all the saints in light we may shine forth as lights in the world. Amen. Sleep well, be blessed, stay safe, and may the presence of the Lord be with you. May his peace be upon you, and may you wake refreshed and ready for a day of challenge and opportunity. Good night. Bless you. Take care. Bye.